Hey guys, welcome back to another video at Jensen's Reptiles. Um, I did have a different video planned for today, but this one's going to be a little bit impromptu because as you can see, Zeke has just started to shed. So instead what I'm going to talk about today is um, snakes in shed, what you can expect, and um, what to do to help them out a little bit. So I'm going to film Zeke through the glass currently, so um, you can see he's a tiny bit concerned about me being here. So I'm just going to stay nice and still and leave him to it, but I'm going to film him through the glass. So if you do see any uh, reflections, it's just the glass in front of the tank, that's all. Um, <clears throat> so, when snakes are in shed, the most important thing to monitor is their humidity. Uh, you want to keep their temperatures nice and stable, as you would always. But in most cases, you want to get that humidity a little bit higher if you can. What Zeke's doing currently is just stretching his jaw out. So you saw he just opened his mouth a little bit there. He's just getting his jaw ready so he can stretch that skin and it'll all come off nice and easily as he moves around the enclosure. So there are some things that you can do in the enclosure itself to help your snake out when they're in shed. The number one being providing a good substrate that holds humidity well. I use a layer of Eco Earth topped with orchid bark, as you can see on the top there. And then you want to make sure you have some decorative items in the tank that will also provide a rough surface to help the snake pull the skin off. What Zeke's doing currently is he's rubbing up against the side of that hide there so that the skin will stick. Because he's a tropical animal, his sheds are usually a little bit more damp than they would be for, say, a corn snake or a king snake somewhere that comes from a little bit of a drier environment. So his sheds are usually rather moist when he's done. Now, they do tend to be a little bit sticky as well, so if you have pieces of cork bark or anything like that in the enclosure, it will help to take that skin off. So he's going to move around the enclosure now and probably rub up against anything that he can. He's going around the inside of that hide currently, pushing his face up into the corners, waiting for the skin to kind of start folding back in on itself. Uh, for boa constrictors like Zeke, you want to have the humidity up between 60 and 70% for the week or two that they're in shed. Uh, usually, Zeke's humidity is around 55%. So, for the last few days, it's been up in the 60s, which means just spraying down his tank on a daily basis to make sure that humidity stays up there. Because it's winter here at the moment, the air is a little bit drier. So, the humidity in the enclosures is dropping very, very quickly. So, if you do notice that happening, you may just want to give the enclosure a spray down in the morning and the afternoon just to make sure that throughout the day they've got good humidity levels that's going to help them shed well. So during the shed process a, a uh, layer of moisture will build up between the new skin and the old skin and it will start to come away. During that time as well the snake's eyes will go cloudy and blue depending on the colour of your animal and some it's harder to see than others. But in a snake like this, um, his eyes go a very, very deep blue. Um, that phase is called in blue. <clears throat> um, another sign that your snake is going to shed soon is that their belly will go a slightly pinkish colour. Again, that's that moisture building up between the, between the scales and um, they start to go a little cloudy as well. Snakes tend to be a little bit more highly strung during shedding. Um, if you put it down to the fact that they can't see very well and um, also it must be a, a bit of an ordeal to go through so what I usually do is avoid feeding if, um, if feeding's coming up so Zeke was meant to feed today but actually I'm just going to feed him tomorrow instead so that he can just relax a bit today and get his shed over and done with and, um, and then he can have some food tomorrow and he should be a, a really happy boy by the end of, uh, by the, end of the day tomorrow um, some snakes will eat during shed, no issue whatsoever, others just won't um, because they can't see, they just want to hide. If you do see that your snake is hiding more than usual, there's a good chance that they're going into shed, but it's always best just to, um, just to check on them and see. If that is the case, I will always advise not handling them, just leaving them be. It's, it's surely a stressful enough time for them already without you know getting their heart rate up for no good reason. So. Um, so with Zeke going into shed, he's been in shed for coming up to 
a week and a half now. I've not handled him during that time um, and I've not offered him any food. So just left him on his own. The only thing I've done is change his water and make sure that his enclosure has been sprayed down well to help with the humidity. So those are some tips on how to help your snake out. Now Zeke is currently pushing his face around in the substrate a little bit to help get that head shed off. As you can see his nose is just about coming out again on the right hand side of the enclosure um, on the hide. So I'm just going to wait a few more moments to see if he pops his head back out. If he doesn't I'm going to sit here and wait for him to come back round again and I'll start filming again in just a sec so you can see as the shed comes off. Yeah, so his head is just there on the right hand side of the hide. He might pop out in just a moment. Let's have a look. So you see those jerky movements that he's doing where he's kind of edging himself forward. That's a great sign. So it means that he's got the shed rolling back. He's, you can see it's not on the top of his head anymore. Um, and Zeke's fantastic at shedding. He, he really goes round in circles until he's got this perfect roll of shed. Um, he doesn't usually leave it across the tank like some of my others do. Um, because it is a little bit more damp, I think that's why. But it's always really interesting to watch him shed. Oh, actually it looks like he's still trying to get it off his jaw a little bit there. So the shed is off the top of his head. But it does look like it's um, it's still on his lower jaw. What I'll do, rather than having this video being the full length of him shedding from start to finish, I'm just going to see how he gets on for the next few minutes and then uh, pick up filming again in a sec. So Zeke's currently just stretching his jaw out a little bit again. Um, he's having a bit of trouble with the shed on his lower jaw. It looks like it's come off the top of his head quite easily, um, but potentially a little stuck just under his chin there. So he's been stretching his jaw out over and over to loosen it, which is um, <clears throat> usually what you'll see your snakes doing when they need to um, get the shed off their head in the first place. They'll also go up to a rougher object and rub their nose on it just to break that uh, the initial seal there, which is what Zeke's doing at the moment. He's rubbing his face down into that substrate and as soon as the skin starts peeling back a little bit all he needs to do is just travel forward and it'll all come off. He's giving it a good try though. I'm hoping he'll come over this side a little bit and use this bark because that's, uh, that should help him. He can really get his face all over it. One thing you do need to check for when your snake has shed is that their eye caps and the tip of their tail have come off during the shed. Super important. As the skin dries out, it'll shrink. So if it's still attached to the eye, it can shrink around the eye and the snake can actually lose the eye if, um, if that happens. Same with the tip of the tail. As, it, um, as the skin shrinks around the tail as well, it can cut off blood supply and the tip of the tail can be lost. So it's just best to make sure that um, those bits of skin do come off. So Zeke's still trying to just get that chin part off at the moment. And he's come over and he's using this bit of cork, which I hoped he would. And I can just see that the skin is starting to peel back on his lower jaw. So he should just keep, keep traveling around like that in um, any moment now. And it'll just pop back and he should be able to get it off easily. So you may need eagle eyes to see what's going on. Oh, actually, no, it looks a little bit easier there. Just towards the back of uh, Zeke's head, where his, uh, where his mouth is, you'll see the skin is now peeling back. So what he did when he was rubbing his face down into the substrate was just, just catch the front of that skin on his lower jaw. As soon as that popped off, it's uh, plain sailing from here. So now all Zeke will do is travel around the enclosure and you'll see that skin that's rolling back off the back of his head now will just continue to keep folding over onto itself until he's right down to his tail and he will get the whole lot off. Because Zeke's a big boy, I'm 
I'm not going to film the whole thing, as I said, because otherwise this video would be over half an hour long. Um, but when he's got a little bit further down, I will show you how he's getting on. He is still going strong. He is about a third of the way done. I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse video. I thought it'd be a nice way of seeing how their muscles move as they're traveling around and also how they push themselves forward to get that shed off. I find it really interesting anyway. Um, I'm gonna wait till Zeke's done and then pull the shed out and uh, show you what that looks like. So Zeke's nearly finished. He's just stopped for a uh, quick drink. He's having a, a rest. You can see it's just his uh, tail tip that's still left to shed. As soon as he's done, I will um, pull the shed itself out of the enclosure so you can see what I mean about the eye caps and the tip of the tail. Um, but yeah, he's doing a really great job. It does take him a while to shed because he's so big. Um, but we're talking about kind of half an hour, 45 minutes. And then he's all done and he looks incredible. Okay, so Zeke is now all done shedding. So the things we need to look out for, like I said, are the tip of the tail, which we've got, and the eye caps, which I saw come off, but he's not left for me. So they're in there still somewhere with the top of his head shed. Um, but luckily I saw it all come off. Um, I'll just have to go in after. He's a little bit grumpy right now, he just wants to be left alone. So I'm going to leave him to it. But um, yeah, you can see what the uh, what the shed looks like. There are the belly scales, all oblong. As you can see, those scales get smaller and smaller and smaller as they go onto the back. So, really impressive thing. Um, it took him about 38 minutes to shed this time around, and he's done a perfect job pretty much all in one piece with the exception of the top of his head there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions about snakes and shed, Zeke himself, anything like that, let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible.